let's see the PPM in system. This is the projects module. Under this, we can see project financial management. Here, we will create the project. This is the project management uh, module. Like here, we do the planning of non financial tasks, non financial activities, like the planning of resources. Then, here, this is the cost module too. This is the uh, costing module. Here, we can record all the costs, we can import the cost, and we can track the cost. These are the important modules under first. Now we'll see the we will see a sample project. These are this is the already created project in the system. I will open it. Let's see first uh, this. <coughs> For example, this is the already created project in the system. So we we have a project has a project name, project number. Every project has a different unique number. And then there are project status, different project status are there. This is the important information. And then here we have a start date of a project and end date of a project. And then there is a concept of business unit and project unit and project manager is also there. This is the uh, screenshot that we saw on the slide. This is the basic information of the project, like project name, manager name, project status. Like there are different status of a project can be draft submitted there is also approval hierarchy to activate the project project has a start date and a end date and then this is the project number this is the project unit under which this project is created this is the project organization business this is the business unit under which this project comes and this is a non sponsored project like project can also be sponsored uh, like it is for grants management the overview screen and then coming to the coming to the project settings here we can make the necessary changes under this general tab we have project classification like so in what how we have we classified this project into and then this is the parties here we can add the customer to this project. Here there is a concept of resource uh, breakdown structure. That means that uh, which is the RBS that we want to use to do the planning on this project. And this is the project plan type. What type of project this is? And this is the plan setting, task setting. I'm just uh, giving you an overview as of now. These are the other setup. So this is the import. These are these three are important setups here. We will go on the, we'll go on the manage financial project plan. So this is an uh, important page. Here, see, we can see the task is there. For example, this is one of the tasks. Under this task, resources are added. See, like these are the some resources which are added. So, for example, this person <coughs> Bellas his plan for 320 hours. This is his costing. This is this actual cost till date. So here we can see the details like what have what cost is incurred 
on this this is an expense like this is not a person this is a non labor resource so this was planned 1000 cost was planned on this task but the actual cost booked was 1100 because the project control was not enabled on this project that is the reason this uh, the expense was able to be imported beyond the planned planned amount How does this resource? Sorry, I have a yes, please. How does this resource actuals come in here? Do we need to uh, control it from any of these screens, where we need to say no. that this resource? No, no, or it flows. Actually, when a cost is imported to the project costing, it is also automatically updated on this screen. The actual cost, the planning, planned cost. We have to do planning from here, and the actual. Cost is imported. It is okay. automatically reflected. The actual cost. Okay, imported means like, uh, is it from third party systems or within? Uh, no. Within. No. Okay. Uh, imported means like, uh, for for the very important important information for in case of uh, PPM is that like we called it as a poet information. Me go here. if you want to book a cost on a project any cost if you want to book on a project this is the important thing this information is mandatory if if you have to book book a cost on a project this is check number See if, for example, if you try to create a payable invoice, under that you will put a project information. So these are the five mandatory fields that you have to put. Even in case of OTL or in case of creation of purchase order, this is the information that we will need to put at any place to bring cost to book that cost on project. Right. Right. Okay. so after whenever you put this information so the the cost will flow into project costing module there is a standard function of import uh, import cost there is a schedule process import cost which we need to run to import okay. the cost on the project yeah thank you yeah <clears throat> so this is like the task structure here we can see like the different fields this we can see in details like these are the dates see here the plan cost is this in actual cost is more than the plan cost because there is a there is also a restriction that we can set do we want the actual cost to be more than our plan so we we have a different setup for that and see the budget because we have to create a cost budget if we are building if we are into constructions construction of something there is definitely a cost budget <coughs> yes this is the cost budget that is created here there are there are two type of budget cost budget and uh, revenue budget uh, this cost budget means this is the amount that we have planned to spend to complete this project and this is the bill amount this is the revenue amount we call it as a revenue this is the bill amount or a revenue amount so this difference is our margin on this project we can see here this is the difference from this screen we can see the actual actual spent budget to date and then here we can see this is the actual revenue that means this is the billing has been done this is the important screen 
बजट कैन ऑल्सो बी रिवाइज देर कैन बी मल्टीपल वर्जन बजट कैन बी चेंज एंड वेन अ प्रोजेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड there will be a creation of contract this is also part of P- ppm this contract management under which contract creation is there invoice and revenue generation is there let's see the contract screen this like create contract to create a new contract we will see the existing created contract Maybe the contract is not created here. Let's see some other contract. This is the contract overview. Like the, the contract will also have a number. The project number and contract number can be similar or different. So there will be start date, end date. There will be a contract amount. There are these are the contract lines. Lines as to means means that what are the payment terms on a contract. For example, like only one contract line is created for this amount. So parties, we will have to add here customer. This is the customer that is added here. Here we we can able to see the invoices raised to our customer. later on <clears throat> let's see this costing the system is working uh, uh, slow so this this is the function this is the feature that i was talking about the schedule process import cost so here we have to see, select the business unit and the transaction source these are the multiple source from which cost can be imported on a project like expense miscellaneous cost can be there payroll from payroll it is coming from payable purchasing cost management time and labor and projects so these are the multiple source that we call as to import the cost on a project this is a schedule process from uh, this feature that is of uh, capture cost we can also create a cost through adfdi excel sheets from this screen manage project cost we can view the cost which is imported
here we can see like transaction this is the transaction number this is the project name task name expenditure type expenditure organization expenditure item date and then person name like this is coming from this transaction source that also we can see this is coming from external time and external system it is coming document entry is there so this is the cost imported on the project and every detail we can see here when this cost was imported what is the amount if there any we can also make changes on this cost if this is the wrong wrong cost which should not be imported on the project so the in detail we'll see in later session so as of today i have given an overview of an oracle fusion ppm system and what are the different modules under oracle fusion ppm